Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and in the today's tutorial I will talk about uh, caching. Let's go! Let's go direct to the uh, to AnyPoint Studio. I already set up an application uh, where I uh, query uh, information from uh, Salesforce. Uh, so I already set up uh, uh, the connection and already uh, insert uh, the flow. Uh, so let's dive into this flow. Uh, you have a HTTP listener that uh, make a query uh, from uh, from Salesforce. Uh, this is uh, a, a simple query. I query the the contact uh, about uh, uh, this uh, uh, this ID. Okay, uh, the ID is coming from uh, the uh, query parameters uh, query param parameters ID, and then uh, um, the result. Uh, I have the result uh, in response. Okay. Uh, the application is already uh, up and running, so let's let me just uh, uh, make the invocation. As you can see, uh, I, this is my my result. Uh, this is my these are my um, my contact. Okay. Uh, what I uh, want to do uh, now is uh, uh, insert uh, a, ca a cache in order to uh, prevent uh, uh, make uh, a lot of call to uh, to Salesforce. Okay, uh, with MuleSoft is very 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 simple. I can uh, I can just uh, stop and uh, um, uh, copy and paste my, my flow. So I have a flow without cache and a flow with cache. Okay. Uh, this is my second flow with cache. Okay. Uh, I modify the uh, the path. So SFDC is my uh, flow with cache uh, without cache, uh, while my uh, flow with cache uh, is uh, uh, I think uh, cache. Okay. It's very 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 simple. I, I just uh, uh, put a uh, 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 wrap my query uh, with the uh, uh, cache, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, now, in order to understand uh, if I hit or miss the the cache, I simply insert uh, uh, a variable, okay. Uh, cache. Um, I initialize this cache variable with uh, uh, hit. Okay. Uh, so if I uh, if I go, if I go inside the cache, I missed because I, I invoke uh, Salesforce. So uh, I modify the the variable with the, with miss. Okay. So the cache variable is miss. While if if I don't uh, go inside the cache scope, uh, it's uh, uh, it's a hit because uh, uh, I already find the the value inside the cache. Okay, so I uh, just uh, add another field. Uh, cache that uh, with the value of the variable okay okay uh, let's uh, uh, dive a little bit uh, in the um, in the caching scope it's uh, almost uh, finished uh, i just uh, need to set up a caching strategy okay so uh, i reference a strategy i create a new configuration Okay, I uh, can use an object store. Uh, I can reference an object store, or I can edit an inline object store. Uh, for uh, at the moment, it's simple to edit inline. So um, I put an alias, uh, for example, uh, Salesforce uh, contact. Okay. Uh, and then uh, now I have to uh, set uh, all these uh, uh, parameters. Okay, uh, uh, so let's check uh, uh, all these uh, parameters. Uh, uh, let, let's uh, search a little bit uh, in Google, object on Mulesoft, uh, um, reference, uh, and max entries. As you can see, uh, max. Uh, 
uh, max entries is the max number of uh, entries allowed. Uh, so, uh, uh, so exceed new entry uh, removed from uh, uh, from the the cache. Uh, it's very important uh, the something about uh, the um, expiration thread. Uh, so uh, uh, there is an entry TTL and an expiration interval. So uh, entry TTL is uh, the time to live uh, of uh, uh, the the um, of the object. Uh, while the uh, expiration interval uh, is the how frequently uh, the expiration thread uh, should run. So I have to set uh, the expiration run with uh, lower than my TTL, otherwise uh, it doesn't work. So if I, for example, enter uh, 10 uh, seconds uh, of TTL and I set one minute, uh, my um, my, my object uh, will expire not in 10 seconds uh, but uh, in one minute because uh, the TTL uh, my object uh, expire in 10 seconds uh, but uh, the expiration uh, thread uh, run uh, uh, after one minute so uh, at, at the end uh, it's uh, one minute uh, the expiration so I have to set this one uh, uh, lower uh, I think uh, a good expression uh, interval is uh, half of uh, the entry TTL. Okay, so I set, for example, to uh, five, se five seconds. Okay, so let's set uh, the even key. Uh, the key, I can set a key expression, for example, um, it's regarding my ID. So uh, I want uh, that every time a new verse ID arises, it's a new uh, object in the, in the object store. Okay. So let's check uh, if uh, everything is correct. Uh, let's uh, run the project. Okay. Okay, let's invoke. Uh, let's invoke. So I uh, invoke. Uh, this this is the SDFDC uh, uh, endpoint. Uh, I want to invoke uh, the cached endpoint. That is uh, uh, this one. Uh, cache. Okay. With the same uh, with the same parameter, okay. Okay, as you can see, uh, as you can see, I have dismissed the parameter. So if I uh, invoke again, I have an it. Okay, uh, in a couple of ten, ten, in ten seconds, uh, I re uh, refine we will refine the a missed because in ten second the um, the object is expired in the cache and the thread uh, because uh, runs every five seconds uh, at the time to uh, understand that the the, the cache is uh, the, the object is expired. So if I uh, invoke every ten second, I every time uh, send it a, a missed, and then uh, if I invoke many times uh, I, I find a uh, hit, 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 and then after 10 seconds I uh, missed. Okay, so if I uh, if I invoke two different, uh, uh, for example, two different uh, um, objects, for example, this one and uh, this one, it's two different objects, so it's a miss and also it's uh, this one, let me see, let me see. Okay, let's redo. Homer Season, Miss, Stella, Miss, again, Miss, uh, Stella, it's an it. Homer Simpson, it's an it. If I wait 10 seconds, it will be again uh, two missed. Let's redo. Miss, and Miss. Perfect. Thank you. That's all for now. Uh, I hope you enjoy my video. Uh, please, uh, if you like my video, uh, smash that subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye.